Well, Noah Scanlon with Skulladay.com, and that's skull like in the head, right? <laughs> and you actually made a career now out of an effort you had in, in, in jumpstarting your own creativity by right. creating a new skull every day. And now, but you're on the internet, and that's what I want to talk about, that you're making money and selling a book on your skull of days, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Well, so now you want to have a book, and so instead of using traditional publishers, which you had in the past, you're using the internet. And, and why is the internet better for you to get money for your book than? You know, well, you, you know, I mean, having having published many books in the past using publishers, you know, it was an interesting experience, but it was frustrating because I had very little control over the outcome. Uh, and and by switching to you know self publishing and using Kickstarter, working with a, a local business to to create a book. All of those tools helped me make a book that's exactly what I wanted instead of, you know, feeling like it was something that was kind of what I wanted, but not exactly that other people had control over and also, you know, limited the amount I could make off of it. Because in the end, they were right. going to take the majority of the money from, right. from producing it and I could get, you know, a much better deal from it. Uh, so it really was uh, for freedom more than anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And you're really getting most all of it funded by the Internet. So these are people who are pre-buying, right, your book. Yeah, that was the way we thought about it, is that, you know, mm -hmm. we were going to put up the money to make it ourselves, but this way we don't have to worry about, yeah. well, will this book sell? You can find out in advance, is there an audience? Do people have an interest in this book? Yeah. By selling it in advance through Kickstarter, we raised the money to pay for a good chunk of what we needed in terms of wow. printing. And there's still a lot more money involved in right. the whole process, but that money then guarantees it's, that it's that gonna book get done. isn't going to sit on a shelf, that people yeah. and that people want it, you know, right. that well, there's you, interest or buzz about it. <laughs> you don't have to publish and then find out. <laughs> right, exactly. And then hope while you're sitting on right, boxes exactly. books going, please buy but, my book. Yeah. But more importantly, you have you know, the book, no matter what happens, and money to, uh, to do it that you didn't have to dig in your own pocket. Have you done something like crowdfunding before? Was this your first crowdfunding? This was actually the first time. I'd been kind of waiting to do it because I thought, uh -huh. you know, I don't want to I don't want to blow this experience this first time when, you know, because I realized that a lot of the people that were going to participate were going to be friends and family initially and then right. hopefully we'd get out to other people, but you know, there's only so many times I wanted to tap them and so for my first one I wanted I to really make it something big and I took a while to do it. Um, and I'm glad I did because I got to observe how other people did theirs and get a lot of um, uh, ex you know that helped me a lot because right. I could see where did they do well, what was what was the technique, what did they need to do to make it a successful Kickstarter? Because it's not you know something where you can just make a Kickstarter, put it on their website, and step back and it's going to fund just itself. It doesn't go to work. The bank, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get the money, go to the it. bank. Get the yeah. money, go to the. No. So what do no. you? Okay, at that part when you said, and by the way, in, in building the site and everything, that cost you a lot of money and and. No, like, no. no. The, the site, you know, it's funny, we actually, when I was working with my partner Ward on uh -huh. making this project, we had, we had sort of thought, well, maybe we'll hire a film crew to make right. a video for us, because that's so supposed to be very important, the video. And then the guys came back to us with thousands of dollars, and we right. thought, you know, we're going to spend all the money we make on Kickstarter paying those guys. So <laughs> I just took my camera, and I set it up on a tripod and shot some video and wow. edited it on, you know, on the Apple, I have the, right. the, the, you know, the program to edit right. video, super basic. And it was great. People loved it. Nobody worried that it wasn't like perfect, and and it was fine. And it was more that we had a video. It didn't have right. to be a great. There was no special exactly. effects needed. It was just, hey, you can see what we're doing, and that was sufficient. And so yeah, we didn't spend a dime actually on it. It was, I mean, my time, which is valuable. Yeah. Certainly. And how about in marketing on the web? And once the the site was up, did you spend money to you know in social media and and the experts and professional expertise, buying advertising, all that kind of stuff? Yeah. No, no, no advertising. No. The marketing people paid. Uh, again, you know, I benefit from the fact that I have some skills already and right. I knew how to market and I'd done my research, which, I, you know, again, you don't have to be a marketer, but you certainly need to look at what's yes. involved. I promoted and I was making a list of this, but, you know, every day there would be at least one or two times on Twitter. Uh, I would be on, on Instagram making photos saying, I've got this Kickstarter. Here's how to support it. The link is over uh, here. I'd be on Facebook every day telling my friends. I'd say, make invitations. Join the Kickstarter. Help me out. I send emails every week to friends to to you know mailing lists I developed. I mean, I was working hard, so the yeah. the money is my time, right? It's not the right the exactly. People. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. but in the end, I have the time. I can do it, and um, it was that effort that made the difference, right? That got people donating. And if you look at you know all the Kickstarters have this little grid, and they show you the chart of the money coming in, and it's down, see, you know, right. the first day and whatever. As so the first day, there's a little blip, and then it goes like this. Uh, and you can watch that line and say, you know what, I'm not going to hit them. How are we going to get to this point? And every day goes a little bit. And then the very last day, everyone donates, and then it goes like that. And it goes uh, over. 
<laughs> and so you realize like people procrastinate, you know, and so you have to do that effort and make that work to make so, it happen. So you have to be a professional nudge or a professional pain in the ass guy or whatever it is. Yes. Yes. You can't be you can't be shy. If you're gonna you do a customer, you have to be a self promoter. Anybody has the we all have the skills to do that, right? Yeah, everybody does. <laughs> well, certainly. You know, I think that people have been told not to. I think people have been like, oh yeah. don't, you know, oh. talk about yourself or don't, you know, they feel uncomfortable. And when people ask me about that, they said, Well, do you feel uncomfortable if your friend asked you about supporting a project. And they say, yeah. oh no, I don't mind if oh, my friend exactly tells me right. today. But then they have to do it, they're scared. And I say, I, that's the thing, look what other people do that you don't mind and uh, do that. that do know. that, yeah. yeah. Well, that's wonderful. So, so you have very little money and you have complete control of your project. Yeah. But I, I hear you're gonna do another project soon or what? Uh, I'm, I'm always in the midst of projects. Really? I've got <laughs> I, I mean, this is I, I'm, I'm one of those people who needs something else to do. I always have a project running. And Scala Day is an interesting project because, you know, I started that project. It was, it was a seven, seven years ago was when I started doing wow. Scala Day. I did it for a year. Everything that I've done since then has been somehow related to that project. And then I've slowly developed new things. And this book is kind of amazing because here's this project that's now old by internet standards, but because there's still an audience, there's still an interest, right. people are fascinated by it. Uh, and here's my friend who's saying, I want to publish this book. Here's Kickstarter as an opportunity to raise funds for it. That's, you know, a newer opportunity. So it's great. And, and you know, that book is, is a culmination of that project, but then I'm, I'm always, I've literally, yeah. I mean, I couldn't even tell you, I have so many things well, I mean, going on you, all at the same to time. To me, what you're showing is that anybody practically, you know, could find a, a little market niche. I mean, you need 500, 600 people, that's yeah. all. But, <laughs> and, and you're and in business. Point, yeah. You know, that, that my project um, has a large audience online, but if you look uh -huh. at Kickstarter, it's, it, we had a little over 400 backers that right. got us to the amount we needed to get to. And I looked at lots of successful projects and aside from the real outliers you know right. there's some big ones right, but right, right. the average one that was successful regardless of if they were asking for hundreds of thousands of dollars or a few thousand three to six hundred yeah. people that's well, not a lot of people exactly you, three i mean to people, you need but, millions on a bestseller list but you yeah. can be successful and sustainable with yeah. a couple hundred so yeah. why screw around with those people in new york <laughs> yeah. and the bonus is look you might have the project that does get it blow exactly up tons right. of people but if you don't you can still get Exactly. You know, you're still make doing something what, happen. You and know, make yourself doing what you want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do something that you're passionate about, and that you're not spending your time begging people, you yeah. know, or trying to to create what you think people like. Absolutely. I think that's a problem. It's like you're talking you know, to the horse's <laughs> mouth instead of some fat cat with a cigar in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's wonderful, Noah. And so to get Skull a Day, it's skulladay.com. And that's, that's right. really a beautiful picture book of the skulls you made in that's various right. art forms for 365 days, right? So it wasn't yeah. a leap year, huh? No. And then it was a leap year, actually. <laughs> I, I, people wanted me to make one more, and I made a tiny little one just I to did. satisfy the quarter of the day. But, and when I say making a skull, you know, to be clear, what I was making was art that was out of anything and everything. Yes. So we're talking about butterflies, oh. shoes, sheets from beds. I mean, it was not oh, like no, what you consider beautiful. like, you know, a drawing yeah. of a skull. This was well, you, really you all over the You can see the video by going to theskulladay.com and clicking yeah. it, and that gets you the, the video on this stuff. And that's right. No, you're right. I mean, that's right. I think just to see what you're able, how you can be creative 365 ways. I mean, yeah. That that's education enough. Even if they don't buy the book, man, you got to see go. well, it. Really somebody encourage people to to, yeah. to check out what I did, but then you know try it out themselves. Yeah. If you make something, a little thing, it doesn't have to be huge, yeah. it doesn't have to be complicated. A little bit every day. Yeah. If you're making creative work, you're going to be getting yourself on a path to right. going and doing some amazing things. And I started very small. The first day was 20 minutes, and by the end, I was doing <laughs> things that took tons of hours. And now here I am today successful in business because of making skulls so, uh, not yeah. something i ever would have expected yeah. really i spend my time talking to you know executives at corporations now right. who want to hear <laughs> they're from coming me to you for the I answers and you yeah. didn't know them when you started but they think you know them now <laughs> yeah <laughs> well wonderful though and thank you for being there and sharing Thanks your creativity so with everybody at skulladay.com and at thank least you. see those 365 things of way different ways to display a skull <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.